Hare Krishna. So it's extremely great pleasure for me to again be here in Sri Sri Radha Gopinath Mandir at the lotus feet of Sri Sri Gornitai, the lotus feet of Sri Sri Radha Gopinath Lalita Vishaka, lotus feet of Sri Nathji Gopalji, lotus feet of Sri La Prabhupada, and to be here with all the devotees of Sri Sri Radha Gopinath Mandir. Hare Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva So Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 73, Lord Krishna blesses the liberated kings, text number 15. Hmm? Tam, Tam na samadhi shopayam yena te Charanabjayo Smriti Yata Na Virame Api Samsaratam Iha Tamna Samadhi Shopayam Yena Te Charanabjayo Smitir yatana viramen api samsaratam iha tangna samadhi shopayam yena te charanabjayo smitir yatana viramen api samsaratam miha tamna samadhi shopayam yena te charanabjayo smitir yatana virame api samsaratam miha Ladies?
tam that naha to us samadisha please instruct upayam the means yena by which te your charana of the feet abjayo lotus like smriti remembrance yata as naviramet may not cease api even sansaratam for those traveling through the cycle of birth and death iha in this world translation please tell us how we may constantly remember your lotus feet although we continue in the cycle of birth and death in this world translation please repeat please tell us how we may constantly remember your lotus feet although we continue in the cycle of birth and death in this world hmm purport by his uh this is not by his divine grace huh? this is by his servants of <laughs> Srila Prabhupada hmm. one can constantly remember the Lord only by his mercy such remembrance is the easy method to obtain supreme liberation as explained in Bhagavad Gita 8.14 ananya cheta satatam yomam smarati nityasa tasyaham sula vaparta Nitya yuktasya yogina. For one who always remembers me without deviation, I am easy to obtain, O son of Prita, because of his constant engagement in devotional service. The words api sansaratam iha indicate that the kings were approaching Lord Krishna not merely for liberation, but rather for the boon of always being able to remember his lotus feet. Such constant remembrance is a symptom of love, and love of God is the actual goal of life. Tamna samadhi sho payam jena te charanam jayo smitir yata naviramet api sansara tammiha. Please tell us how we may constantly remember your lotus feet, although we continue in the cycle of birth and death in this world. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananan Yana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Sri Chaitanya Manubhistam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Sayam Rupakadamayam Dadati Svaparandigam Aradhanas Trinandan Taibhidam Yache Puna Puna Srimad Rupa Padam Bhujo Dulisyam Janma Janmani Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shivasadi Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare I was born in the darkest of ignorance with my eyes closed shut, but my spiritual master has opened my eyes with the torch light of transcendental knowledge. Therefore, I offer my obeisances unto his lotus feet. So here are the kings who were captured by uh, Jarasan are making very interesting prayer. Hmm. Uh, Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is standing before him, before them. They could ask for anything. Hmm? But they are simply asking for constant remembrance of his lotus feet. Hmm? Because this is the greatest benediction. If one can constantly remember Lord Krishna, uh, then he's free from all contact of this, uh, here says, sansaratam, this cycle of birth and death. He immediately is free simply by remembering the lotus feet of Krishna. Just like we read in the Krishna book, Prabhupada explains hmm, that the Brijbasis, 
they were completely unaware of the miseries of material existence because they were simply absorbed in thinking of Krishna. Hmm. So this is the perfection of yoga. Hmm. Here it is, uh, one verse is there, Ananya Chetasa Sat, Ananya, che, uh, ananya Cheta Satatam, Yo Ma Smaranti Nityasa, Tasya Ham Sulava Parta, Nitya Yuktasya Yogina. So here the word Yogina is there, but Prabhupada has translated what? Huh? those who are constantly engaged in devotional service. Just like we know at the end of the chapter where yoga is described, uh, Krishna tells, yoginam api sarvesam madgatenantaradrama sharavan bhajate yomam same yuktatamu mata that yoginam api sarvesam of all the different types of yogis hmm, that person uh, who's worshipping me with shraddha, with faith, shraddhavan bhajate yo maam, sami yukta tamo mata, yukta uttama. Yukta means, that is the whole word yoga comes from this yukt, to link. So he's most intimately linked with me, uttama. Yukta tamo, he's most intimately uh, uh, linked with me. Sami yukta tamo mata. So this is the real process of yoga, to always remember Krishna. And in this dark age of Kali, uh, special process has been given by the most merciful uh, Sriman Mahaprabhu. Hmm. He has delivered this very simple process of chanting the holy name. And this process is authorized, not that Lord Chaitanya invented something new. This is process is authorized, just like in Kaliya Santra Upanishad, there's one uh, history where Nard Muni comes to see his father, Lord Brahma. Hmm. And he comes there and says, Pita Sri, I have just come from uh, the earth planet. Hmm. I'm just coming from the earth. And there, Kali Yuga is about to begin. So how these people can be saved from the evil influence of Kali? How can they be saved from this evil influence of Kali? Brahma was very satisfied. Wah, 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 vats. Because hmm. those who are younger than us, we address as vats. Hmm. We all know butts, much means calf. Because as soon as we see calf, then Batsalya Ras comes in our heart, you know? So younger person we call butts. Hmm? So hey butts, this is very nice question. Because this question is meant for the benefit of all living beings. Subpraniyunka kalyanikaliye prashane. Generally we ask questions for our own selfish interest. Hmm? I asked so many sadhus in Brindavan. Anybody ask me any spiritual question? No, Maharaj, they never ask. Hmm. He said, Maharaj, please bless me that my business doesn't fail. Huh? All business is going bad right now. Please bless me, my business don't fail. Oh, Maharaj, I have 30-year-old daughter still not married. Please bless me, I can get her married. Oh, Maharaj, my son ran away from home for three years. We haven't seen him. Please bless me. My son will come home. For self-interest, selfish interest, we ask questions. But this question is meant for the benefit of all living beings. Hmm? So Lord Brahma said, my dear but, I will tell you that in this dark Kali Yuga, simply by chanting the holy name of Bhagwan Adi Puru Sri Narayan, look, uh, people can be freed from the evil influence of Kali. Simply by chanting the holy name of Bhagwan Adi Purush Sri Narayan, people can be free from the evil influence of Kali. Hmm. Just like, suppose it's rainy season. Hmm. Is there anybody who can stop the rain? Hmm. 
In your Bombay, somebody's there who can stop the rain. Huh? Even Trump can't stop the rain. <laughs> huh? But if we take umbrella, rain is still going on, but uh, hardly the influence is coming on us. Hmm? We're taking an umbrella, so the influence is not, rain is going on, but influence is hardly coming on us. So same way, there's nobody who can stop this Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga is going on. Hmm? Even in Vrindavan, we have no one who can stop Kali Yuga. Huh? Even Modi, he can't stop Kali Yuga. It is marching on, we're seeing before our very eyes every day. Hmm? But if we take this umbrella of the holy name of Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Huh? So that evil influence of Kali will not come on us. Hmm? Hmm? Just like it's saying here, samsara tam, this uh, material world is going on, so how can uh, that give us remembrance of your lotus feet? Hmm? So same way, this Kali Yuga is going on, but by this chanting of holy name, this is the umbrella to save us from that influence of Kali. So Narmoni said, Pita Sri, that's very nice. Um, but what is the form of this name? Is Namaka Rupa Kya Hai Pita Sri? Hmm? And Lord Brahma, he very clearly says, Hey Vats, the form of that name is like this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Iti Sodasha Nam Nam, Kali Kalmasha Nashanam. Sodasha means uh, 16, uh, 6 and 10. Iti Sodasha Nam Nam, Kali Kalmasha Nashanam. Kalmasha means the evil influence of Kali Yuga. Nashanam, it destroys hmm? the evil influence of Kali Yuga. Hmm? Well, Pita Sri, that's very nice. Huh? So now, what are the rules and regulations for chanting this holy name? Hmm? And Lord Brahma says, Hey Vats, there's no type of any rule or regulation whatsoever for chanting this holy name. No type of rule or regulation whatsoever. Then the devotees always ask them, Why are we uh, following four regular principles? Why are we wa rising from Mangal Arati? Why are we chanting rounds? Why are we doing all these things? Hmm? That's a different thing. Uh, as far as desha, kala, patra. Time, place and uh, circumstances. There's no rule or regulation. Uh, um, any place, at any time, anywhere in the world, any person, doesn't matter, man, woman, a young person, old person, uh, Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Sudra, uh, um, Brahmachari, Grihasta, Sanyas, Vanaprast, uh, even, doesn't matter, even foreigner, any person, any time, anywhere can chant this holy name. That type of rule and regulation does not exist. Hmm? And I will tell you, but that you can log on to Google and search through the whole Vedas. You will not find a uh, a remedy better than this. Hmm? Where did that, that word came from? Upai. You will not find a remedy better than this. This is the most secret thing of the Vedas. In fact, within these 16 names, the whole essence of Vedas are contained. Hmm? Whole essence of Vedas are contained. So this is from Kaliya Santra Upanishad. Hmm? Mahaprabhu has not made up something new. Uh, Kaliya Santra Upanishad is giving this process of chanting the holy name. It's the uh, best upai, best way, best means uh, to get free from the evil influence of Kali. Hmm? And seeing this verse, uh, 
I'm remembering one verse from Ras Khan. Ras Khan was a Muslim who somehow or other became a Vaishnava. And he wrote beautiful poetry in Brijbasa language, old Brijbasa language. So he says, Sabka suniye kaye na kichu, rahiye emi ba bagarme. Sabko miliye durbava bina, rahiye sansanta ujagarme. Kariye vrat neem vrat satai liye jinte tariye man sagarme, sabko miliye durbava bina, rahiye sansanta ujagarme. Govinda hi yum baje, jame nagari kochit gagarme. Govinda hi yum baje, jame nagari kochit gagarme. He says, Sabka suniye kai na kichu. Listen to everything, but don't say a word. This should be the law for the internet. <laughs> Listen to everyone, but don't say a word. Remain this way in the world. Rahiye imi babagarme. Kariye neem vrat sachai liye jente tariye man sagarme. Follow your vrats and vows, but they will carry you across the mind ocean. Sabko milie durbava bina. Greet everyone without any ill will. Arahye sansanta ujagrami. Remain in the light of the true saints. Govinda hi yum bajaye jami nagari kochit gagrami. How should we remember Govinda? He said the way the nagari, the village girl, has got her mind on the jug on her head. The way the village girl has got her mind on the jug on her head. Yum. In Brishbasa, uh, it means this way. Just like if you ask directions in Braj, they will say, Nyu, Nyu. Agi chal ke Nyu or fir Nyu. So Govinda hi Nyu baje hai, jami nagari ko chit gagar me. Just like when we go on Prikham and Braj, we see the girls carrying sometimes two pots on the head. And no hands. Hmm. And they're walking and talking and doing all their things, but uh, their dhyan, their meditation is on the head, the jug on the head. Hmm. They walk, they talk. What happened in your house last night? I heard your mother in law screaming. Uh, they're walking, talking, doing everything, but mind is always on the jug on the head. Hmm. So this way, just like in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna, Krishna told Arjun, Mahamanusmara Yujita. So this is a practical example. Just like they're asking, how can we remain in this world and always remember your lotus feet? And so Raskhan is telling like this. Just like Krishna told Arjun, Mahamanusmara Yujita. You do your duty as a Kshatriya, huh? but Mahamanusmara, you always remember me. Hmm? You always remember me. So if we uh, follow the simple process given to us by Lord Chaitanya, uh, then we can always remember Krishna even though remaining in this material world. Hmm? Just like he told the Kurma Brahman. The Kurma Brahman said, Prabhu, I want to leave and go with you. Hmm? This householder life is filled with so many troubles and strife and so many anxieties. I'm going to give up everything and go with you. And Mahaprabhu said, no. What did he say? Yari deho tahi kaho Krishnupadesh amaragai guru hai tahari desh. He said, no, you stay. You remain in your place. Hmm? Not that you give up your house and you go to the Himalayas and, and meditate. No. Remain in your place. Huh? But whoever you meet, wherever you go, whoever you meet, then you tell them about Krishna and you chant Hare Krishna. Hmm. Very simple process. Amara gyai guru hai. By my order, you become guru. Are how I can become guru? What quality do I have to become guru? Not so difficult. Hmm. Just like the postman, he takes the letter uh, from you and delivers it to the receiver as it is. Hmm. Not that he opens up the letter, he wrote this, but actually he meant this. And he said this, well, we'll cut that line. Hmm? If the postman does that, he'll end up in jail, no? <laughs> as it is, he delivers the letter as it is, without change. Hmm? 
So you simply repeat whatever you've heard from uh, Bhagavad Gita as it is. And you repeat it as it is. Hmm? You became guru, not difficult. Hmm? Huh? Amaragyai, by my order. You have no quality, but by my order. Amaragyai, by my order. Mira agese, guru banao. Or taridesh, you save all your countrymen. So, by this simple process of Lord Chaitanya, we can march across the land and free everyone uh, from material existence hmm? by the simple process of chanting the holy names. Uh, this is the great mercy of Sriman Mahaprabhu that he descended in this dark age of Kali to give us this holy name of Krishna. Hmm? Just like uh, behind me is the picture of Ramananda Roy. He asked a similar question, or Mahaprabhu asked Ramananda Roy, actually it was the other way around. Ramananda Roy was giving the answers, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was pretending to be uh, ignorant. He said, I'm Mayavadi Sanyasi, I don't understand anything, but I've heard you're a great devotee of Krishna, please answer my questions. So he asked, uh, what is the goal of life and the means to obtain it? Hmm? It's very similar to the benediction that these uh, kings are asking for. Hmm? What is the goal of life and the means to obtain it? And Ramananda Roy, he actually quoted from scripture. And he said, one should follow the Vanasram system. Huh? And Mahabharu said, e Eho Bhaiya, that is external. Huh? Go further. Hmm? Uh, then he said, one who uh, uh, gives up the results of his work, uh, uh, he gave so many uh, quotes Mahaprabhu said no no go further then he quoted even our most favorite verse that every devotee knows even if you're sound asleep and somebody whispers in your ear what is that verse in the 18th chapter near the end hmm? everyone even sound asleep will say sarvadharmam paritya maam ekam saranam raja ahantvam sarvapapi byo moksha ishami mahasucha we know this verse even in our sleep hmm? and Mahaprabhu said no ah, this is a big surprise why Mahaprabhu is saying no then Ramananda Roy quoted a verse from Lord Brahma's prayers in the same 10th canto in the 14th chapter very beautiful prayers are there very important verses. The Gosamis and all of their books are always uh, quoting these verses, just like I translated Madhurya Kadambani, many, many verses in describing the process of Bhakti, Biswanath Chakavarti Thakur uses from this chapter. So he says, Jnane prayasam udapasya naman deva Jivanti san mukaritam bhavadi evartam Stane stita shruti gatam tanuvan manobir Ye praya so jita jito pasitai stri lokyam Jnane prayasam. Prayas means to attempt. You give up this attempt by jnana and karma. Jnane hmm? prayasam udapasya. In the recording, you hear Prabhupada say, Udapasya means kick it out. Hmm? This karma and gyan, kick it out. Gyane prayasam udapasya namanteva jivanti sanmukaritam bhavadiya bhartam. In Sanskrit, uh, when a T or a D will come before an M or an N, it will also change uh, similarly. So sanmukaritam means sat. Uh, sat means a devotee who's always speaking such a sat means a devotee hmm? mukaritam we know muk huh? mouth we should hear uh, uh, what should we hear from the mouth of the devotee bhavadi evartam hmm? uh, just like we have this word in Hindi vartalap huh? to chat huh? just like every day people are chatting on Facebook chatting on messenger chatting on Skype Everybody's chatting about so many things. Hmm? Well, what does Lord Brahma? Lord Brahma is praying to Krishna. Bhavadiya Bhartam. Bhavadiya, your chats. We should hear chats about Krishna. Hmm? 
we're listening to chats all day long and we should hear chats about Krishna just like uh, uh, I'll give that example later Bhavadiya uh, Bharatam Jnani prayasam mudapasya namandeva jivandi sanmukaritam bhavadi vartam stane stita srutikatam manu no mano bir stane stita just like Mahaprabhu told Kurma Brahma you remain here stane huh? stita stan means place just like in old days there was only Hindustan and Pakistan then somehow the Soviet Union broke up and all of a sudden there's Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan and Kazakhstan and Baluchistan and, and uh, what are this? So many Stans appeared. Hmm? Rajasthan. <laughs> so Stan means place. Huh? Stani stita. It's like stita. Do. You remain. Remain in your place. Whatever business you're doing, whatever service you're doing, whatever you're doing, you remain in that place. But what do you do? Shruti Katam. You go on hearing about the wonderful pastimes and activities of Krishna. Bhavadi hmm? Evartam. Those chats about Krishna you hear. Stani sita shruti katam tanaman manovir. Ye praya so jita va jit yopasi thaistri lokyam. You can hear in the tape, Prabhupada says Krishna's name is Ajita. Huh? He cannot be conquered. Huh? Prabhupada says, anybody can conquer God? No, no one can conquer God. He's Ajita. But if somebody, Jivanti, he leads his life like this, hmm? he remains doing his work, but he comes and hears the chats about Krishna, then for such a person, Krishna becomes Jita. He becomes conquered. Hmm? Krishna becomes conquered. Because he's so shocked. Somebody actually sat down to listen about me. They're chatting about so many things. Just like in Vrindavan, we have uh, FM radio for those ladies who are busy uh, getting their children off to school and cooking and everything. They can listen to the, uh, somebody's sick, they can listen to the uh, class. All the programs, Mangal Artik all the way up to Sayan Artik, 24 hour kirtan, you can listen. So someone gave me a radio. So on that radio, there were different bands. Hmm? Three or four different, I think four different bands. On each band, so many channels are there. Four different bands and hundreds of channels on each band. Huh? And nobody's talking about Krishna. Hmm? In Bombay, so many newspapers are there coming out every day. No one talking about, no article about, hardly any article about Krishna. Hmm? Everybody's chatting about so many things. Uh, you can go from one band to another. You'll never find anything about Krishna. Only on our, I think it's 98 FM. Then all of a sudden you hear the Srimad Bhagavatam class in Krishna Balaram Mandir. So everybody's talking about so many things. Nobody's talking about Krishna. So if somebody actually sits down and hears about Krishna, Krishna becomes stunned. that he becomes conquered by such a devotee. Huh? He's so shocked. Everybody's listening to so many things. Someone actually sat down to listen about me. He becomes shocked. Huh? He becomes completely shocked. So then Jitta, Prabhupada says Jitta, he becomes conquered. Huh? Hmm. On that same lecture, Prabhupada says, even without following, if he simply goes on hearing, this hearing process is so powerful. Huh? He remains doing his work, but he comes and hears from the mouth of the pure devotees about Krishna's activities. Uh, he will reach perfection, even without practicing. Hmm? Prabhupada then says, but of course, the more he practice, huh, whatever he's hearing, the more he brings that into his life, then the faster the realization will come. Hmm? This is not uh, to say one should not, one should, oh, I'll just come to the class. Uh, and hear, the, hear about Krishna and then I'll go do all nonsense thing. Huh? No, it's not, that is not the idea. It's glorifying hearing. That's, it is so powerful that it can do like that. But if you don't start practicing, you won't go on hearing. Hmm? It is a fact. It is powerful enough that you simply hear without practice, you'll become, uh, you'll reach perfection. Uh, uh, but 
uh, practically we see without practicing no one will go on hearing one will lose the taste as long as one is doing material activities eventually he will lose the taste for uh, Krishna consciousness hmm. so you go on uh, practicing because after all Prabhupada said the faster the realization was come because we do not know when we're going to die hmm. it's like we see every day uh, we read on Facebook another God brother is gone hmm. Another God sister is gone. Huh? Everybody's facing this. Nobody knows when they're going to die. Hmm? Huh? So we should be very serious and try to put in whatever we're hearing, we should try to put it into practice. So, because very quickly we don't know huh, when we're going to leave. Just like one time I was thinking, we don't know uh, 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 when this whole world could finish. Hmm? It's like we hear that this material world is a perverted reflection of the uh, spiritual world. Hmm. So, we see in this world, sometimes somebody's sleeping, because we know this whole universe is going on as long as uh, uh, Mahavishnu is breathing out. Uh, then he breathes back in, he's sleeping in the ocean, causal ocean, Karna Jal. Breathing out, universe is there, then breathe in, you, everything is finished. And we see sometimes people are sleeping and they go... <laughs> so, what if, uh, so this is perverted reflection, so maybe that also happened in spiritual world. Uh, Karana Vishnu all of a sudden, like that, and everything is finished. We don't know when. We're thinking we have millions and millions of years. <laughs> We're thinking we have millions and millions of years, but at any moment, boop, the whole thing can be finished. <laughs> so we should become very uh, serious about uh, practicing whatever we're hearing from Srila Prabhupada, then faster the realization will come. So this is a simple process to achieve this benediction that the uh, uh, liberated kings are praying for. How can we remember you always within this mature world? Mahaprabhu is given this simple process. You go about doing your duty and you always chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Is there any questions or comments, arguments? Hare Krishna. Thank you, Puji, for the amazing class. Puji, I think in the translation it says something like, uh, how can we constantly remember you, still continue in the cycle of birth and death. So why the kings are like, they still want, it's like they want the, both the, even the material. I'm taking it just like the example that I gave, that while living in this world, how can we, I'm taking it that way. Yeah. As long as we're in this sansara, how we can always remember you. And of course, we know that by remembering, then we'll uh, be free from sansara. Hmm. Automatically. Just like Kunti, she prays, I want to see all those difficulties again and again. This is a very amazing prayer. Because we come every day before the Lord, oh, please give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Give me a job and a car and a house by the sea, Swami Jai Jagadish Hari. <laughs> but Kunti Devi, she's praying, give me troubles. Why? Because every time we were in trouble, then we got to see you. Hmm? You always came to save us. So what is the benefit of seeing you? Huh? Because by seeing you again and again means no more seeing of birth and death again and again. So we want to see all those troubles again and again, so that we'll see you again and again, and seeing you again and again, we won't see birth and death again and again. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhu. Um, uh, this is on behalf of one devotee who asked me this question uh, as to why Lord Sri Krishna didn't go to uh, the house of Akrur 
uh, when he left uh, Brindavan. That is one question. Another thing is, uh, you know, in that uh, in Brindavan there is that uh, Nidhi one, mm -hmm. where they keep this um, all the bed and uh, all the jewelry, and, and in the morning when they take it out, it's all uh, scattered. And so, just wanted to uh, hear from you. What is your? Have you actually gone and seen that place? And is it actually a miracle which still happens even today, or what is the philosophy behind it? As far as the question about a crewer, I can't, I can't remember the circumstances and I haven't heard any discussion, so I can't say anything. As far as Nidivan, I've never been there in the morning to see, so I don't know. <laughs> in the morning, I'm always in the uh, morning program in Krishna Balaram Mandir. So <laughs> but anyway, the Pujaris are telling like that, that they put everything nice. They tell the same thing in Seva Kunj. In the morning, it's all scattered. Uh, so who can say? Uh, ultimately, we're not really interested. Just like I remember I was in Hyderabad uh, in 1975. Prabhupada was there between Ma uh, Mayapur and Vrindavan festival because they were going to open the Krishna Balaram temple on Ram Nomi. So there was a big gap between Mayapur festival and Vrindavan festival. It was all the way up to Ram Nomi. So Prabhupada did a Pandal program in Hyderabad. So Prabhupada asked for questions. It was very interesting. His first couple of days he let the people get the microphone and ask their questions. Uh, but somehow, uh, especially the Hyderabadis, I guess, they love to hear themselves talk. <laughs> so they would get the microphone and say, Respected Swamiji, we want to ask you a question because this question is very important for all the humanity. So if you give the answer to this question, the whole humanity will be benefited. So for the benefit of all humanity, I'm asking this question. <laughs> Eventually Prabhupada said, let them write it down. <laughs> So anyway, one person got up, he said, my auntie, she, she hears Krishna's ankle bells, my auntie, she hears Krishna's flute. And Prabhupada says, I do not know what is this. I only know Gosamis were chanting, were, were, uh, I only know Gosamis were doing like this. Hey Radhe, Rajade, Vike, Chalalite, Hey Nanda Suno Kuta. They never saw, said that they heard Krishna's flute, that they saw Krishna standing in threefold bending form. They were running around Vrindavan. Where are you, Krishna? Where are you, Radha? Where are you, Lalita? Huh? Are you on the bank of the Jamuna? Are you under the uh, uh, tree? Where are you? Where are you? Huh? That's all I know. <laughs> so I don't know if it's all scattered or not, or if they scattered or not. It, ultimately, we're not interested. We're only interested in cultivating our Krishna consciousness. No other questions. Everyone fell asleep in my class. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Since you've been living in Vrindavan since so many years, uh, would, do you actually recommend that uh, uh, devotees stay in Vrindavan for say a month or a year or so in order to absorb the uh, spiritual atmosphere of Praj? Or is just uh, just uh, yearly visit of two or three four days that devotees come to yatra is that sufficient? Is there a difference between staying there and serving or? Uh well, Prabhupada once said, I want some devotees to come and stay here, and remain just like the Goswamis. Hmm? So it was also Prabhupada's desire that people come and stay in Vrindavan. He also desired that we visit Vrindavan. One time they told Prabhupada that it costs so much money, so many thousands of devotees coming every year for Mayapur Vrindavan festival. We could print books like this and that. The Prabhupada said, so eating, every day you eat, it costs so much money, so we should stop. <laughs> so we know we can't live without eating and we're not about to stop that. 
So Prabhupada put visiting Mayapur and Vrindavan on the platform of eating. It is so necessary. We can't live without eating. So that is where we get our batteries charged. Hmm? We're living in this very uh, extremely materialistic place. Uh, everybody knows this is the most materialistic place in whole of Bharat. Uh, we're living here in this horrible place. Uh, everybody completely absorbed in sense gratification. So uh, we're going against the current. Hmm? It's very hard. Somehow as soon as you come to Vrindavan, it's like 50 kilos came off of your shoulders. Hmm? Uh, so Prabhupada wanted us to go there to charge our batteries and come back and preach. He wanted some to stay. So if you feel inspired to stay, then stay. And some people say, oh, uh, th uh, sometimes they tell, especially new devotees, you shouldn't go to Vrindavan, and you may get a fence or this or that. But just like, do we tell people to get better than go to the hospital? We tell them, you go to the hospital when you're sick. So Vrindavan is the spiritual hospital. So it's not that you have to get better than go to Vrindavan. You go to Vrindavan to get better. <laughs> I don't know where this idea is, oh, you're not ready to go. No, just like you may ask, why do I stay in Vrindavan? Because there's a purport in the Dhruva Maharaj uh, uh, chapter in Srimad Bhagavatam and the purport where Narmuni tells Dhruva Maharaj, uh, Tadgatsha badram te yamunayas tatam suti punyam maduvanam yatra sanidam nityada hare. Even in Sati Yuga, in the very beginning, Dhruva Maharaj is the very beginning of Sati Yuga. He says, him, you go to Maduvan. Hmm? Madhuvan is existing even since Satyu. So in the purport, Prabhupada says, if one is not very advanced in devotional service, then he should go to a holy place like Mayapur, Vrindavan, Haridwar and perform devotional service. But if one is very advanced like Nard Muni, then he can go anywhere in the world. Hmm? So that's why I stay in Vrindavan. I'm not very advanced, so I can't make it anywhere else. So I can only stay in Vrindavan. <laughs> Hare Krishna. <laughs> so if there's no other questions, then we can all fall down at the very soft and wonderful lotus feet of that great personality who's given us this wonderful upai, wonderful means for remaining in this world and always remembering Krishna. Srila Prabhupada Ki. Ah.